All right, next project for the day. So we've already gotten the two that we've talked about. We've got the motor mounts done. We've got the pillow block changed for the transmission. Now we are going to deal with, this is where the e-brake generally goes, but with the seats that we have, we can't use the e-brake. So the e-brakes, the hand actuated e-brake's no good. So we're gonna put an electronic e-brake in it. But to do that, we have to remove the old mount because it goes on the transmission uh brace so we gotta get that out and that's what we're gonna work on there gilly's got a panel made for to cover the hole so here we go All right, guys, uh, we got that cut out. Uh, Adam's going to get underneath there and weld some stuff. Uh, the last of the seat uh, supports. So, yeah. Fuel tank's plenty far away, right? Oh, it's back here with me. I don't think it's going to be a problem. All right, guys, we're back. After a long day of dealing with uh, motor mounts and transmissions and e-brakes and that kind of stuff, uh, we're back. Uh, I gotta take the tires off so that we can take them to, or not tires, tires and wheels. So we can take them to a company that is going to fix them. They have some curb rash from uh, the accident. They're a little bent, uh, but they say they can get them all fixed up, but we need to get those off so we can get that process started. So here we go. There you go guys, ready? Uh, let's get them all cleaned up. Hey guys, well, you know, sometimes when you have a real job, you have to uh, do things on your time off, but today we're getting the wheels taken care of. So we're here at a, uh, at a refurb shop here in uh, Tucson. They take care of, I mean, if you look at this place, they take care of all kinds of wheels. They got really great prices at doing this kind of stuff. So if you're in the Tucson area or around this in Southern Arizona, Come to these guys even we'll get stuff up from phoenix for you but great place to get your tires and wheel or your wheels refurb so they're going to take care of some of these little snafus that we have on Let's see if i can get this thing to focus right this way that way right there we take care of that bend take care of those kind of things so that's what they look like now we'll be back and we'll pick them up later so today is magic carpet day so yes carpet we're going to try to get the carpet finished Realize that we don't have a lot of glue, so maybe we won't, but we're gonna press on as far as we can. Uh, other things we're gonna try to do today, we're gonna try to get uh, the overflow mount or overflow bottle mount mounted and uh, possibly work on rear speaker grill. But that's what we're doing today. That's where we're starting. That's what we're gonna get done. So if you guys are new here, please press that subscribe button, press the like, press the bell, do all these little things of press, press, press. Those of you who have been here, thanks. And those are you that are, I guess it covers everybody. So, hey, let's get started. All right, guys, this is what we use. We use a Wellwood DAP contact adhesive. Buy it in the gallon. You can get it at your local. You can get it at your local upholstery store. Or you can do like we used to do and ship it across the country at twice as much. All right, guys, here we go with uh, finishing up the carpet. As you can see right there where I'm spraying, that's uh, where the hole was for the e-brake, which you're going to see later on in this video. Um, but basically, in the gun, putting this on, if you want to see where I did uh, the trunk and the rest of that, uh, go back and see part 23, uh, uh, carpet. I will, uh, I'll link it right up here on the top so you guys can go back there and see how the rear end was done. But with this, it's, it's fairly, you just got to take your time and work out your wrinkles. Um, 
still the best tool that we found with this, and you'll see it here in just a second, is we found this uh, sledgehammer uh, tool that you use to like put down, uh, take up concrete, or just jackhammer concrete, but it's awesome because it has some weight, and it, uh, it pushes down real nice. So uh, with this Roadster, the, the carpet is not fun. It was one of the hardest things when I first built my green one a while ago. It was one of the hardest things that... Uh, to do on the project if somebody asked me yeah interior was the hardest because I've never done it before but I've gotten pretty good at it now all right guys we're gonna do the big guy now we gotta do some funky stuff up in there but uh yeah big guy here we go all right guys let's talk about this carpet a little bit uh this is not the original carpet that came with the kit this is an upgrade um the carpet that comes with the with the kit is just really cheap carpet. This is uh, actual marine grade uh, carpet. It's got a nice rubber back to it. Some people put like Bentley carpet in, but this carpet, the nap just feels better. I think it holds up better uh, and definitely it lasts longer. I haven't seen any fade in our other car with that. So this carpet is great. Now you're going to see this 3M adhesive remover. I mean, you'll notice in this video how we've gotten some glue like on the carpet. We've gotten it on the car itself. This 3M adhesive remover, it is awesome. It will uh, lift the glue off of almost anything you touch. We use it in our hands. Um, it's expensive. It's about $19 for that little can, but it is, it is a must-have for this contact cement and actually any kind of adhesive. I use it everywhere now. But, uh, yeah, it's great stuff, and we use it all the time. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, week of work, week of parts. So we got parts for this thing and we got parts for my car. One of the big things that we got is e-stop. We are now a uh, vendor for e-stop. It is an electric emergency brake. So this thing pulls in that way, pulls the brakes, push the button. Really, really cool setup. So uh, we're gonna put this thing in the car and it's gonna make life easy. It gets rid of the handle that barely works on these things. So, if you guys are interested in these, call me and uh, we'll get you set up with one. We're also gonna be kind of a little more in depth on the install of this, because I'm gonna turn it into a uh, instructional video for people that do buy them and are installing them on Factory 5 Roadsters. So, that's what's gonna be here. We also got a new old starter. We got a part for one of my old starters that we're going to go and we're gonna try and put on this car because the starter on this thing sucks. So, gonna do that. Gilly's gonna work on getting, everybody say hi Gilly. Hi. So, Gilly's gonna work on getting the expansion tank put on the car. He's gonna work on getting our brass and chrome pieces work so we can get them to the powder coater sometime soon here. What else are we working on, Gilly? Rear panel. Hey, I'm working on a rear panel that we haven't shown you guys yet, but that's what we're doing today. And that's probably what's gonna finish out the rest of this video. So let's get going. All right guys, so we are going to get the e-brake set up on this. This is uh, kind of the step through instructions for the e-brake. Uh, first step, I'm gonna identify where parts of this are gonna go. So I'm gonna try to get some light in there uh, and we'll go from there. All right guys, so this might be hard for you to see, but this is where the old mount was. There's there's one the back of the old mount and the front of the the front of the mount. Cut that mount out because you really don't need it. Um, you can probably leave it if you wanted to, but uh, we got rid of ours. So this is a T5 transmission. Uh, most people are doing TKOs while they have them, but T5 it's smaller than TKO. I know it'll fit with a TKO with the same exact setup. All right, guys, I want to freeze here for a minute. There are options here. Like I said, you can cut it out. If you guys are adding this after you've already put the handle in, like a retro, you can leave the handle in and it just won't work. And you can leave this. Or you can do like what we did here and take it out. And now with a big hole that's there, we just used uh, some 40 thou aluminum that we had. We glued it in, covered it in carpet, and we can't even tell that it was there. So with that, you can leave the handle in or you can leave it out. In our case, it was uh, hitting on our seat, so we had to take it out. And then back here at the back of the chassis, we're going to use, this is the very back of the tunnel, we're going to use these two holes. That's where the cables are going to come through. So cables come through here, 
All right, guys, so you got to mount this thing as much of an angle as you can get. Um, it doesn't have to be way crazy exaggerated, but as much of an angle as you can get. So get that, rivet it in place, and then uh, that's what we're going to do next. All right, if you came here for this uh, e-stop electric e-brake, there is a full-blown video on it that I will... I will link up right here in the comments so you can see the full-blown install on this. This is just going to be the fast sped up version on it. Uh, I go through that one and actually do a step-by-step -step process, but this is how, uh, this gives you a little peek at it. Oh, hello. All right, so see, we drew a Sharpie mark on the bottom of the thing so we can line it up. See how it's, we got a gap here. Our transmission is going to go that way some more. So we've got a gap there, especially when I pull this over here, everything's gonna miss. So, all right, so we're gonna take it out, we're gonna drill the holes, and this portion will be finalized. Get that one snug up at the top where, at your mark that you made. And then run this one down. Here you can take some vice grips. Hold it in place on your marks. Flip it over. Take a Sharpie. Somewhere in between these guys. Boom. All right, guys, don't be an idiot like me. Um, cut these ferrules. Cut these ferrules off before you put them in the car. Especially if you got carpet in like we do, because now I'm just going to make a mess. So, yeah. All right, guys, so uh, we've got it mounted. We've got the wires run for our car. So you just need to get your wires up into the dash. And then we've gone and... I like to use these, they're called Dean's plugs. They're from the RC airplane world, uh, but they're high voltage and they slip together easier. And up. Do you need to put a connector? Can you just solder them together and butt splice them together? Sure. Um, I like to put this easy connector just in case we need to move the box, which we've just Velcroed to the wall. I'll put a little bit of, I'll put a dab of silicone here and here just to hold it. Drill a hole for a button. The button's gonna go right here. And now here's where things get a little different. All right, so off our box, we have three wires, these three wires. Black, of course, is ground. Red is going to go to a battery source. We're actually gonna use, can you see it down here? We're gonna use this guy. This is our courtesy lights. So we know it's battery. This thing doesn't take a whole lot of amperage. If I need to, I can, up this uh, fuse and make this work. This is a guy that we are not going to hook up. Um, with this hooked up, when the ignition is on, you can't activate the button. So the brake won't release. The brake won't release if the car is running with the ignition on. So we're not going to hook this button up. Now, that's not the way they do it. It's not the way the instructions say to do it. And all it is, it's a safety feature. So you can't engage the emergency brake with the car running. So um, we're willing to take that risk. So that's the way we're gonna do it. You guys can do what you want. This other little green button, or green button, is green wire. You can hook it up to like an LED, which we might do. We might actually hook it up to, we're probably gonna hook this up to our dash. So on our digital dash, it, uh, it will, show break when the brake is installed. This LED on here shows that the brake is working also. You just, the instructions will show you how to do that. Too. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna finish wiring this thing up and then we're gonna test it. All right guys, we got the electrics hooked up. 
Uh, we've mounted our switch here underneath. We don't want to see it. So that's why we put it here. But as you can see down here, let's see if I can get some focus. Ooh, there we go. All right, so we're gonna press the switch. This is engage. And then disengage. Cool. Uh, we'll do so if you there's a light so if you when you press it it's gonna blink while it's uh, doing its thing and then this will go off after a little bit of time but you can just So there you go guys. So what's left, and I'm not gonna show you this because you guys can do it too, but once you engage it on here, on the very bottom, let's see if I can see this. Down here, there's a little plug that you undo. So you engage it. Well, right now we're gonna adjust it. And then if, you're, if your rotors are still spinning while it's engaged, you need to adjust the little spin thing in here and you stick a screwdriver and you push it and it will, uh, got like little cog wheels on it and you put a screwdriver in and you just keep going until it gets tight. You want them to drag just a little bit when it's disengaged. So, all right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. We made a lot of progress. I didn't show what, uh, what Gilly had accomplished, but Gilly got, get this out of the way. Gilly got our overflow tank in. So now we just gotta do some paint, some mounts, that kind of stuff. Overflow tank's done. The e-brake is in. I don't even remember what we did in the first half of this video. So you guys all seen it. There's no need to really recap it, but we're good to go. E-brake's good to go. Need some adjustments. Uh, we need a new cable. Our cable was bent, got kinked in the wreck, and it's hanging up on the driver's side. But uh, we'll get a new cable, but we're not going to show you the swap out of that. It's all the same. So with that, we thank you guys for being here. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you have subscribed, love you guys. Don't forget, merchandise, Factory, uh, factory 5. I don't even know what I'm saying. I say it all the time. 520speedworks.com. Get yourself a shirt. Hang out with us. Appreciate you guys being here. And we will see you guys next time.